The color assignment for week two, we need to create the illusion of transparency by mixing two colors together. And the way to do that is to use the blend tool. So first we need to create our background color shape. Easiest way to do that is with the rectangle tool. Drag out a rectangle. Um, currently the fill color is white, the stroke is black, so double click on the fill color to change it uncheck the only web colors because you want to have a wide range of color also make sure you're working in RGB color mode not CMYK so then you can use this slider to pick your color pick a green now you've got a green square you want to get rid of the stroke now you have this nice green shape now you need the shape that's going to go on top of it select the rectangle tool again, double click to pick a different color and it's good to pick a color that has that contrasts in terms of its value with the color you've selected. I'll pick this pinkish red color draw a rectangle on top and um, now you need to copy it three times so select the selection tool and hold down alt or option to get the double arrow to appear and then while you're holding alter option click and drag to copy your shape you need to only change the color where it overlaps and so to do that you need to use something called pathfinders so go to window pathfinder to open up the pathfinders palette and mine's already open oops reselect that here's the pathfinders palette and then click on this icon here in the lower left and I'll show you what it does basically if you now use the direct selection tool and you just select a piece you can see that it's broken up your pieces into separate shapes so edit undo move to move that back so now you have all these separate pieces and you can just change these ones okay but we still need the blended colors so how do we get the blended colors well the easiest way to do that is to use the blend tool we'll make a blend of our two colors using the rectangle tool drag out two shapes use the selection tool to select both of them and then go to object blend decide your blend options I'm just going to use specified steps nine specified steps and then object blend make so now we have blended colors in between um, currently we can't select them it only is letting us select the whole blend and, and the direct selection tool only lets us select one at the end or the other at the end so what we need to do is expand this so we have access to these these to use these colors to select them so we'll select the blend and then click on object expand and yes you want to expand the object and the fill click OK and now we can select our blended colors so the first one you want the pink to appear on top so we'll select one that's closer in hue to the pink and when you as you can see when I when I click on one of these the color shows up in the color palette so I'll pick this one select it click and drag to place it and now the pink bar is on top of the green bar if I select the one in the middle where they're blended exactly evenly then that gives the illusion of neither one being on top of the other it's ambiguous. The third one, you want it to be more green so that the pink appears below. And there you go.